All right, YouTube, I'm finally back with another review. This time we have some vape shorts here. These are the City Half Camo Glow in the Dark uh, shorts, and a link will be in the description for these. They go for about $55 on Union House. So um, I haven't gotten shorts before from Union House, and these are pretty good. Um, got some weird stuff here, though, that I'm going to go in about. First thing, though, is this uh, the stitching here is is weird like uh they're not cut the same so uh the sides like it seems like a little longer and it doesn't match up exactly but uh yeah there's like some overlap and it doesn't seem like it's cut properly but um in terms of tags and everything and the actual glow in the dark material everything seems to be pretty good there's another thing on the inside that i'm gonna go go on about so uh shipping for this took around two weeks and like I said, it was $55. I think shipping might have been free with this item, though. I'm not 100% sure. If really wanted to check, again, there's going to be a link in the description for all of this. So, yep, uh, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate the, the glow in the dark, but um, you can trust me, it does work. You can feel the, the difference in materials when you go over the glow in the dark patches on the, uh, on the shorts. Okay, so, APED tag. I got that right, that's good. Got your drawstrings, they're a little uneven, but you can even them out, not a big deal. Um, flip it over. Got your, uh, some A-pads, the design, which is all good. More glow-in-the-dark materials, and then the reverse pockets, which used to have glow-in-the-dark material on them. And this is the normal cloth, which it's supposed to be like. You're supposed to have the opposite things on either side, so that's good. Open it up now. Not too much to go over with this one. It's probably going to be a shorter video. And here's the thing. Um, this, <laughs> uh, I think this XL is supposed to be, I could be wrong. So uh, in the comments, let me know if I'm incorrect here. But I, the, the XL might, might supposed to be flipped here. But again, not 100% sure, so correct me if I'm wrong. But you do have the little A pin on the back. This tag looks really good. Nice yellowing right there. Stitching is pretty good on this overall. Uh, sometimes you get a little extra white stuff on, on the tags here, but uh, not the case with this. Um, and I believe that's really it for this. Not a not a whole big item. But yeah, um, material, um, you know, pretty much what you'd expect from Union House. Is it $55 worth of your money? No, but it's it's a pretty good replica. Um, and you can't really expect for more for this, this, uh, this price range, so. Could definitely recommend this. Uh, go over the teeth and the face, I guess. So everything is printed on, which is how it's supposed to be. It's not, you know, it's not like the hoodies where these are supposed to be popping out. So this is the whole face, fascia right here is just printed on. So uh, pretty standard eyes. You can go over the teeth thoroughly. Overall, pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good. No big complaints with the teeth. And these run in, um, you know, small, medium, large, and extra large. I got these in extra large. As with all Bape slash Union House products, I'd really uh, advise sizing up. This was the bag it came with. Um, no exterior tag like I've gotten on some of the more recent hoodies. They've been, uh, this, uh, the, you know, the store tag with the original price on it, but not not uh, not with this. That's the XL, though. Um, but, yeah, overall, pretty good product. Uh, good glow in the dark material. I apologize. I could not show that to you in this video But uh, everything else is pretty solid, you know in terms of uh, I don't know, quality, quality of the material It's about average, you know for Union House and everything so But aesthetically and that's that's what um, I think the most important thing is with with fakes like the materials you can use You know that's very important, but if you fuck up like a tag or something it aesthetically has to look has to look correct, so, and and that and you know this does so props to Union House for that. So um, um, I do have more videos coming out soon. Uh, Union House sent me uh, a, a gift uh, for my nice my, my nice reviews, even though they basically make me pay premium for everything I get. So this was the nice little gift they sent me. I'm probably gonna have a little funny review of this thing coming up. It's pretty ridiculous, but um. Yeah, I definitely. I also have a an H for Hyperview coming out soon. 
So I apologize, I've been on a little bit of a, I guess not really hiatus, but it's been about a week, week and a half. So thanks for uh, hanging in there, guys. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.